I've mentioned before that uh, I write erotica. I write Christian domestic discipline erotica. I write uh, femdom erotica. And I write uh, lesbian erotica. This is Rachel Heath's lesbian erotica. Rachel Heath is my pen name. And I would like to encourage everybody to read Rachel Heath's lesbian erotica. And I'm going to uh, read the um, table of contents, the stories. Hopefully this will be encouraging. Looking is listening and shaving. It's about deaf lesbians and deaf bisexuals who have a shaving fetish. A lady likes to get her butt shaved. New ladies, Clarice and me, making us lesbianese. Okay, lesbianese, because it's about uh, Arab Muslim young ladies in the United States. And um, there is a an old proverb from um, Saudi Arabia that says, a woman who loves another woman brings neither dishonor to her father's head nor a swelling to her own belly. Okay, then we have the Hoosier whoremongers. Feeling the good parts, ass woman's wonder, playing the bad girl game, the tutor, what they do, overwhelmed, spanking and Ms. Seesaw, Mrs. Danvers and Rebecca late one evening, the mystery of the perverts, who says a blind girl can't be bad, and Duchess and Charlotte. Okay, now overwhelmed is about um, a love affair between two ladies, and one of them has extraordinarily large breasts. Okay, the tutor, I think the tutor was the first thing I ever got published. Okay. After I sent essays and, and poems and short stories off, I finally get a, um, a little short story published in Bad Attitude, a lesbian sex rag with about uh, 60 subscribers, and I was overjoyed because I got something published. Anything published was a triumph. Uh, Mrs. Danvers and Rebecca Late One Evening is about kind of a prequel to the Daphne du Maurier's Rebecca. And The Mystery of the Perverts is about uh, two women uh, what, um, viewing the Leopold and Loeb trial during the era of the flappers. Who says a blind girl can't be bad? Um, the fact is, uh, some people might actually be uncomfortable with doing kinky sex with a disabled person, but why should they? Disabled people can get kinky too. And um, they can have like sex as well. And um, Anyway, there's actually there's three short stories in here where somebody has a disability. Um, the deaf one starts it off. Then there's the blind lady. And then there's also a woman who's elderly and is looking back on her uh, days as a flapper. Hope you liked hearing that and will subscribe to my channel.